welcome um this message is the message for the 13 planets but um, a lot of people have been talking about I haven't been seeing that the astrological people are really opening up to this new planet because um, I guess certain people do not want to touch the whole aspect of what is going on okay um, but as a light worker and I think this is in my blueprint that I should get this message out because I have been discussing this with um, uh, yeah I would say that it's someone who I can um, communicate um, properly with and he has advised me that I should do this video so here I am doing this video I took some times to do a lot of research because what I do whenever I take I bring out a special video a video just like this I research everything and then combined it with my intuition information from my guides and angels because I work with the goddesses and uh, the ascendance masters and the angels and guides and um most of the planetary aspect and this sort of a thing okay and as i said i never write down anything whatever i say i channel all of these situations so um what i used to do i when i started out um, when I started out, I started out blogging. I was just writing stuff that was coming to me and blogging. But I've realized that people, um, when you blog, people use your information. And um, it's not being fair because I blog because I want to get the message out there to um, people who are having situation and who are dealing with certain aspects but people are using it for their own use of making money out of it I found uh, a couple of people who were just copying everything that I did because I was the first one who came out with the energy vibration reading arm um, and everybody is just running with it now and somebody says well it's good because it's a flattering that you brought up but I don't think so I think each and every one of us was born with our own special gifts of what we are supposed to do and if you copy something you become a follower and not a leader okay so there is a difference so this I want to clear up this uh, um, before I go any further this video is going to be long it's going to be a very controversial video but I am open to it um, it's uh, um, it's it's information that needs to get out there and we need to really really give out this information I miss one thing that I should have so one moment well, is <laughs> It's actually two things that I should have. So, um, two things that I should have. So here we are. Here we go. Okay. The lightning is bad. I've always wanted to do this, but the angels are here to guide this reading. And and you can see the orb on this shoulder. Here's the orb. And it is the herb of Archangel Gabriel and all the universal angels who would like um, to help give this reading, okay? Because um, this information needs to be out there, okay? I I have um, I have to get I had to get I just got up and I had to get two things and it is the astrologic and I have the vortex because they all work together, okay? all right it's maybe this video is going to be a two-part video so I have to break it down after an hour so if I stop after an hour I have to break it down because there is so much information that I need to give okay all right let's look at 2011 a lot of things started to happen in the year 2011 and 2011 was when NASA brought out that we had the 13th planet which is uh, up up high search and I break it down okay the 13th planet um, this 13th planet has changed each and every one of us okay you were born under the sun sign of uh, 
one of the 12 of the zodiac but this is make a game shift it is such a game shift that is happening to us right at this moment okay it's a game shift so what is this game shift all about and how does it um, connect how does the constellation of these planetary system connect with us as a species on this planet which I've been trying to um, get to people that you are connect with the universal angels you are connect with the heart energy you are connect um, the 12 planets are connected with who you are so each person wherever you were born on this planet you will realize that you're born under a Sun sign it is uh, um, very special for the persons and the people who were born in leap year because this is a game chain for you guys so you guys are extremely extremely special the people who were born in leap years where their birthday only come once per four years so you people should um, really go and deeper to find out how beautiful you are and uh, the spiritual expression especially the ones because uh, you're 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 basically um, Pisces so you work with the, the the energy of Neptune but this I will go through at another time because there's so many information that you need to know and uh, um, we are going to break this down because I'm dealing with the 13 planets, but there, um, there are constellation of things that happen. Why this 13 planet? All of a sudden, in 2011, that people started to talk about it. Okay, we were um, vibrating for many years before I was born um, in the constellation of the Pisces. Um, Oh, um, tide span the Pisces tide span okay and it, it was uh, from the universal angels and guide which I connect with the white brotherhood the white brotherhood is the 12 masters who govern this universe that we all live in okay and um these 12 brotherhoods as I can call up in them so they can give me the information because I was pushed not really pushed because it was in my divine print so I do this videos because uh, when somebody needs to um, open up and this was in my divine print to do this video okay the, the the universe the solar system that we're in we're immediately in that as the constellation of heart you are aware that we are not here alone okay not all of us are earthlings I am not an earthling I came here from a totally love place planet a planet that radiate love and light because I cannot vibrate on the energy vibration um, at this heart at this time because I vibrate with a totally higher energy vibration and that brings in love so wherever I go I try to bring love I try to heal people I do the energy re readings to um, help people to understand to enlighten themselves and to help them to remember who you are because each and every one of you are beautiful you have a spirit you were blessed with a body and a spirit and yet still you have had so many tragedy so many things in your life you need to understand that you are beauty itself you are a copy of source creator yourself and I know a lot of people are thinking so what happened to the murderers the liars and the thief they all came here to deal with their own um, 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 it's, 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 it's as if look at earth as a, as a school every time you have done and gone through a lesson you learn something so you will never um, deal with that anymore okay if you have not finished learning that lesson you have to repeat it and repeat it until you no more recoordinate okay I did not recoordinate to come here I choose Till um, I was called on and asked to return to her to help through the process of ascension. What is ascension? Ascension is when you take on the light body, when you understand that you really don't need food to survive, when you understand that you are not a part of this planetary system, when you understand why you don't feel at home on this planet 
and when you understand that everything around you is connected and every situation that happened to you is a reason and, and you should understand that everything that happened to you is something that you yourself call in your existence to teach you something and a lot of people is going to say whoa no because I can't imagine that I did this and I can yes you did okay and you write your own script you ask people to play certain parts see your life as a movie okay see your life as a movie so it's two things see yourself as um being here to learn lessons and see people light workers they get um projects to do so we come in to do projects we were called to assist with the transformation of bringing positive light to this earth okay i have always um thought different i have always uh, see things different and yet still i was not aware of the fact that not all of us uh, had and was aware of certain aspect of ourselves and we um, some people are just detached from who they are and you need to work with the body mind and soul to regain consciousness of who you are and by regaining consciousness of who you are you're going to realize how powerful you are as a spiritual being because spirituality has nothing to do with churches okay you need to know the difference between Christianity and spirituality it has two different meanings and it is not the same okay it is absolutely not the same so there is a difference so so what because this is going to be a powerful this this what is coming up is going to be powerful as I go back to look at 2011, 2011 was when we learned about the 13 planets. We, I said we, but all light workers had known about the 13 planets. All astrolog, um, people who read astrolog, who dealt with astrolog, knew of the 13 planet. The reason why we, it was not. Um, extended to the public before it's because uh, they weren't ready for the information they weren't ready it's like a Pandora box that is about to begin and about to open okay the 13th planet was always there it's not something just that just appeared it was always there but we were not ready for it okay you have to understand that the human species and the human beings and some of the species that um, vibrate and develop and uh, um, communicate with you on this planet, they're not all humans, okay? So that is one thing you really have to um, uh, be awakened and are ready for, okay? So if you had always thought that, oh yeah, every one of us is human and we carry the body we carry the body of humans but the spirit that we hold within is from a totally different uh, solar system or universal system so we need to understand that that is something that needs um, that we as a species need to understand that we're not all humans so let's get that out the way okay so for people who have been seeing things behind the veil you are now under Understanding what is it that you're seeing and you're now understanding be not be afraid as I've always told people when you start to see behind the veil when your third eyes open and you start to see behind the veil do not be afraid you have to hold love and peace within your heart otherwise there's a lot of people who are getting very um, very um, um, confused because they're seeing something else but yet still being in this world you need to balance yourself find people like myself who understand what is going on with you you can always find me at katikon.com underneath there and um, if you listen to my videos you will see um, the first build that one of the first build that come out it says if you feel as if you don't belong here if you feel confused if you think things if you go to the doctor nothing is wrong with you because I understand the transition and the period of what people are going through 
Now, going back, because I can just go on with so much information, but going back to the 13 planets, so, um, some people are not ready for certain information. And let's be honest with each other. Um, this is going to blow a lot of people out the water to hear this because you haven't been really told the truth about certain things. You were born and you were thought that you were born on the 12 signs, okay? Which is correct, but on the other hand, the 13th sign is there, which was never been taught. This came out in 2011, and if you realize in 2011, the changes that has been happening, people are starting to find their power, people are starting to connect with themselves, people realize that there's positive and negative energies, people are being awakened and being enlightened, okay? People are being awakened and being enlightened. So what is happening now and the, the situation that has been taking place from 2011 is the changing of the guards. The changing of the guards is that hurt, mother hurt and father hurt because you have Lady, Ga Lady Gaia and Father Taya. Okay, that is the name of the father of mother hurt and father hurt. Lady Gaia and father Taya. Okay, now what is happening is that they need to clear the energy vibration of the hurt to bring back love this hurt was made only for peace and love and what has happened over the years is that because of we are being so greedy as human being we're robbing the hurt of the trees the animals and um, all of these things okay so we need to go back and we need to understand that each and everything is connected so the next time you're eating something bless that thing whether it's a vegetable or fruit or an animal bless it and ask for forgiveness for you eating it okay and ask that it will give you nourishment and ask for forgiveness okay because we're all connected we are all connected people next time you go out and you see someone hugging a tree have some respect and do not laugh at it because that person is actually clearing their energy vibration by hugging that tree so there's a lot of things that we need to understand that we are not aware of and we weren't taught in school and this channel is actually built by the enlightenment enlightenment of people understanding certain aspects and certain things and why do we create more karmas for ourselves okay um when we look at the 12 planets we have the 12 planets and as we go from top to bottom where i will i will deal with with all these what mother and father hurt wants is peace and love he wants a hurt they want a hurt of harmony and balance the hurt was only made for 500,000 people and all of a sudden we have billions of people on this hurt so think about a pregnant woman or a woman that has all these people on this hurt how she feels she is tired there's more buildings you know there's more things not to forget about the people who are living in all our earth because we're not the only civilization on this hurt there is more civilization okay and before you're going to say bullshit go and study and go and look the question my son always say mom google that shit so go google you will find the answers so we're going forward and we're looking at the 12 planets so, and we had 12 months in the year and you should realize that everything comes in twos threes seven nine and twelve and you need to really see the connection with numbers and how it affects each and every one of us because numbers affect you okay um numbers is the most significant things if even you can't speak a language numbers is always the same but are from in japanese and chinese language and all the asiatic language and the russian language okay so let's look at this from a totally different point of view let's break out of the box and open up yourself to understand understanding what is really going on and how the planet is changing and how ascension is happening ascension is taking up the light body which is understanding the wisdom um, 
of how everything is connected okay so we're going to understand how things connected um, we are going to understand about the Bible but yet the scientific side of everything that exists okay so you need to really merge both of them together like it's time now for everyone to merge your left and right brain hemisphere together when you ask for the merging of your left and right brain hemisphere together you are going to have a totally a perfect understanding of what is going on karma what is karma let's look at karma karma is whatever you give out that is what you will receive okay if you are jealous and on jealousy is unbalanced because jealousy is wanting to hold on in something and you want everything that everyone has um, that is incorrect because what you're doing you're actually breaking down your own energy vibration because um, each and every person was born to have certain things so if you want everything that somebody has uh, you know um, you're you're breaking down the vibration of uh, what your blueprint says uh, that you should have okay so everything we are like computers whether or not you believe that we're like computers uh, our system is like computers in the junk DNA that is where all the secret of the universe that we should know is in okay Going back to the 12 zodiac planet and karma, karma is something that we all create karma in lifetimes and lifetime. And reincarnation, reincarnation is connected to karmas. Reincarnation is coming back to relive certain aspects and heal certain things. Some people are always on the reincarnation wheel because they don't get off, because they're constantly not learning and not finishing some of the lessons that they should learn and they're constantly on the reincarnation wheel look at this as someone who's always entering relationship with domestic violence you're just on a reincarnation wheel some people came in to um, um, reincarnate is redo re reburned to come back uh, to learn certain um, um, situations in your life and to clear up certain situ situations in your life so you're constantly not learning the lesson okay like I constantly not learn the lesson by opening up myself to people and people use you because uh, people always connect themselves to you because they're looking for something they're connecting with you so every time I'm meeting someone I always think so what karmatic situation do I have with you because I I personally that's how I look at it so I basically don't want to create any more karma so I I work with people and and I work with them and it's there and I close myself off because I don't want to reconnect and recoordinate okay I personally um ask you to try and uh, um, finish the lessons that you came here to learn in this lifetime because this is a powerful this is the most powerful time that you will ever ever survive and see in this lifetime because uh, what is happening is that uh, we are changing our own energy vibration and uh, this is happening because the hurt wants peace and love the last time since the, the 2008 since the monetary system broke down the market crash um, that is the third dimension that it was the third dimension that was where all of us was born in okay even myself I was born in the third dimension what happened is that from that things started going out of walk people are not finding works people start to find their own individuality okay so um, by finding your own individuality you're moving from out the three dimension to the fourth dimension whenever we find the part to our own blueprint you are going to see that you start to radiate and money and financial situation everything that you want will actually start coming in your life like this okay so you need to understand that um, the 12th planet where we are here to govern us and most of the time some people will say oh okay so am I from Saturn because Saturn um, um, 
is my son planet or Saturn was in my birth chart when I was born or I was governed or Saturn um, not all the time that you're with Saturn but you are working through the energy vibration of Saturn okay because every planet is connected with all the 12 zodiac sign and that's why the name of it is astrolog astrolog because you're working with the astro um, um, the astrolog situation of connecting with all the planets so, so the 12 planets were were made and if we go back and we go back all to to the Greek goddess they have all connection to these planets okay all these planets have Greek goddess names like Saturus and Arcturus and that sort of a thing and Pluto because they are the Greeks were so very good and the Greeks had all known for a very long time about the 13 planets okay um, the, 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 the Aztec Indians uh, had, did not want it to open up. It's like a Pandora box for them. So at 1999, they said they didn't see anything coming after 1999 because the Tidesburg had changed and they could not see farther than that because, um, in the time they, the source of all thing and the white brotherhood, the, the, the 12 bright brotherhood, they wanted to keep things because see the earth as an experiment. We are all here as experiment because we need to show that we can all live together um, vibrating under the one um, um, body that we have, but yet still with the different sort of a um, species that we are, and from the different sort of a solar system where we came from. So the planet of Earth was actually an experiment, um, an experimental of, uh, and to see how we different species could have lived together. Okay, so when we come back to that uh, you know from wherever you were coming from in the solar system to be born on this planet you have chosen uh, or your guides and angels had chosen a specific place that you were that you need you you needed to be born okay so if you realize how the, the the transformation of things there are some people who were born in another continent and they end up to live in another continent but they always go back home so it's as if um, they go and there are people who travel because they need to go back to these places because there's certain information that was left at certain places on earth that they need to acquire and they will go it's like you go to places that you have never been to where you have a deja vu as if you were here before and you felt that strong feeling yes you were because you had a lifetime there and you left behind certain secrets and certain code that whenever you go somewhere there those codes will awaken something in you so that will help you on the ascension part or on the elevation of your higher consciousness so you know people travel there's a lot of people who travel this hurt because they are um, some of them are watches um, because yes we do have the watches and I really have to give you guys um, information over these things because I think we all should know and some people wants to sell the secret I think that once you have information information is key information is key and once you use the information for the right purpose then you will see how you shift the energy vibration of who you are and you help to heal this planet because all we're here to say to you is that this is your planet that you need to heal I consider myself not to be a part of this planet because I cannot vibrate with the lower energy of the hate I cannot understand beyond the wildest dream why would someone get up and hate somebody else when they are all connected we are all connected it doesn't really matter what color you are what creed you are where you were born you cannot hate another person because you're hating yourself whatsoever you send out to someone else it's coming back to you okay so 
the 12th planet was the sign um, and where you were born as a constellation of which solar system you came from and how um, your you, the, the, your plan will move in life okay some people just were born someplace and they have totally no connection with that culture and those people and that sort of a thing and this happens to a lot of people which don't speak about it because uh, they think if they speak about it then they will have but it's just their life part that's their life journey okay so these sort of things will come up for a lot of people you're going to find out how these sort of things are happening to so many people and they're just I, they will not talk about it because they are not free enough to talk about it and they think that they are the only one that is going through this process but it is really a powerful process that is happening to us all so the Pandora box opened when the 13th planet came up. It was always there. But the people who were born in the 13th planet, and let's see, I have to put my glasses on. I know you guys don't like my glasses, but <laughs> but I have to um I have to see because I'm not reading from anything. The 13th planet, yeah. It is from November 29 until December 17. So November 29 until December 17 okay let's remember this new 13th planet is from November 29 until December 17 I know someone who was born on December 15 and it is the most um, it is someone that has a special place in my heart and someone that I have so much respect for and I've never seen another human being I've never met another human being like this person and I was I was so happy when he was blessed when I was blessed to meet him and this this man is he never sees black or white I I can say I've seen black and white and I've lived in Europe and everyone always said you think just like the Americans <laughs> you're you're really an American because you think like them you see black and white I always say it is either yes or no it cannot be yes no no it is black or or white okay there is no gray shade in anything people I refuse to think that there's gray shade because um, if something cannot be yes no what is it gonna be yeah no yeah no whatever okay so gray is the shade of a color there is no gray space so I'm always being um, people always say yeah but I said no it's either you like someone or you don't like someone okay and people say yeah but you can like someone but because no there is the characteristic of someone there is someone that can be a very very um, um the, 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 the carry some sort of a thing but I always look for the that just one thing that they have that is so good that all the negative aspect I don't see anymore that's how I basically deal with people so I I can't and I will never look at someone as being bad your characteristic is what you choose to work with at this time um, you choose your own characteristic am I perfect I'm not perfect because when I get mad I get really mad so that is my characteristic and um, wherever wherever your planet is in your chart uh, that is it but I've learned to control it and this is what is happening in this time whenever you choose the part of spirituality you learn to control these things and I I I, I change my energy vibration by I cry and I cry because I don't want to say exactly how I feel about you so I use or you know and not even that I do it but a lot of people when they start being in the spirituality you actually pray for people when you see people are doing negative things you really pray for them and I 
it's it's the hardest thing to, to to live on this planet honestly it is one of the hardest thing it is so super hard and I can understand a lot of people who sometimes just give up but you cannot give up no matter where you are no matter what's going on you cannot give up you need to relive your life you need to change that part the aspect of your life to realize that if you ask the universe to help you out of a situation positivity positive thinking bring always positive things in your life if you think you're okay you're going for this job and you think I'm not gonna get it I'm not this I'm not that then you're not gonna get it because that is what you're telling the universe so if you're going for this job and you think I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it it's either this or something better always said it's either this or something better and the universe have an understanding she wants the job okay so she this is what she wants this uh, is that what the universe have for you as planned that's another question so you need to ask the universe first and you need to ask your spirit guides is this the way I should go or is this not when we understand that we have spirit guides and we have people who are guiding us from out of the spiritual room then you will understand that we are all spiritual beings on a journey in a human body so again you will understand that you are a spiritual being you are a spirit taking on the human body and having a journey on this planet 12 planets are here so we all came from a special system and if you understand for the people who have asked for their birth chart and that sort of a thing when you find out your birth chart and when you see what planets was in the sun and what planets was for what planets was behind you know you will know where you what, what, what why you have these traits because each and every one of us depends on the planets that was in our birth chart when we were born that is the trait that we will carry on until we return to soul creator okay and return to soul creator do not go in um the um the the, the um line because you know when we pass over and when we're going to pass over this is what is going to happen you know you're going to have people coming and said oh you need to go you know have you ever been to India and they're trying to sell you all sort of a thing okay so this is what is going to happen you just tell them you'd like to go straight to the pure light you don't want to reincarnate. you're tired you want to go home okay so okay we're going to go through the 12 plans Planets. we're going to go through the 12 planets we're going to go through the 12 planets it's a game shift with all of these planets because what is happening um what is happening is that um we're going to go with the sign we're going to go to see um the greek gods and the all the planets so first what was the first sign that we have people use Aries because it's begin with the a but Aries is not the first zodiac sign as we go with the year January to December then we will have if we go from January to December our first zodiac energy will be the Aquarians the Aquarians okay solo something the Aquarians okay so let's see the Aquarians when were the Aquarians born the Aquarians their zodiac for the people who were born the Aquarians is always the first first zodiac sign I use it to be the first zodiac sign okay because I honestly um, go from January till February so um, the Aquarians um, which is the water bucket they are from um, the 19th of January until the 18th of February you know the Aquarians is January 20th until February 18 January 20th until February 18 okay remember this and I'm doing this but this was what we were taught 
and this was what we were born in in the three dimensional but as we move through the fourth and to the fifth dimension the changing of the guards the changing of the Pisces time to the Aquarius sign because now there is a there is a big a huge um, riff with um, light workers people of uh, astrology are trying to figure out when um, is the changing of the Steinfurt from Pisces um, to the Aries uh, to, to, to Aquarian and the Aquarian time actually start to begin uh, on December 21st 2012 okay so December 23rd 2012 was the changing of the guards it was the changing of the guards because after that what was happening is that a lot of people felt as if they were going to go crazy a lot of people start to look this for the spiritual part because they felt as if they were unbalanced they were having emotional situations that were coming up they felt as if everything from the past was entering in the present so this was what is happening so they have left the Pisces and the Pisces time worked with Neptune and they had left out of the Pisces time because December 21st 2012 was the changing of the guards so be aware of this and if you realize what happened on December 21st coming right back it was the changing of the guards from the Pisces to the Aquarian time okay so now we are actually vibrating in the Aquarian time so they um and this is um this is a sort of a perfect um state of mind for some people because some people um they were using the connection of the spirit world to um you know affect certain things in their lives so what happened is that you will see now that they have left the pisces time and they're now vibrating in the aquarians time so okay so if you realize what is happening because some people were saying that on the 22nd of february 2017 that was when the aquarian time would have come in but the aquarian time started to chip in the changes of the guards between the pisces and the aquarian time was between um, um, February this year and the 21st of December 2012 so that was a transformation so if you look back at your life to see what happened between December 21st 2012 and 22nd of February 2017 you will see a huge transformation in your life of a lot of things that has taken place in your life so yeah um we are in the um tide sweep of aquari of 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 uh, aquarius now yeah so we have left the pisces tide span and we are now entering the time of aquarius and this is what i'm saying because aquarius is also an air sign this year is the year of the gemini's this year is the year where the magician is going to work his magic and that is the sign of the gemini which is an air sign so this is what i'm saying to all you aquarians out there you need to understand you need to understand that the time is changing okay you need to understand that the time is changing is a powerful year this year 2017 for you to manifest your um, whatever you need to manifest so we're looking at this because I've done it and I'm doing I'm, I'm, I'm going ball by ball with each and every sign because it's very very important that you all understand what is this new planet and why is it here because it comes to change the guard okay this new planet as um, Park Kunkelte said due to changes in the hurt atmosphere the hurt elemental the alignment of the hurt the dates of many zodiac signs have changed 
And this is what no one seems to be talking about. And this is why I'm doing this video because we need to understand that because of the changing of the hurt energy vibration, the energy vibration of the zodiac signs have been changed because instead of 12 sign, we need to start working with the 13 signs. Okay. So for I am doing this year, but I am going to shift and move forward with the 13 sign, the zodiac of the 13 sign, because we need to start to elevate that in our readings. Because it's as if we're leaving out these people, yet still they are vibrating between um, the um, Sagittarians and uh, um, Sagittarians and Scorpions. So, so um, and this this is so powerful because what is happening here is that the scorpion ends so these people is actually sagittarians this new sign is the people who were born under the sign of sagittarians because um the the they are from the 29th which on November 29th and the the scorpion zodiac um, um, sign and on the 29 and it's the 29 until the 17 which is not even fully a month but it's approximately two weeks so what is happening here because the 17 so it's approximately two weeks these people that was born between the 29th of November and the 17th of December are healers and they are healers, but yet still they are the, 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 the there's a thin line. They're powerful healers, extremely powerful healers. But yet still, if they're working on the negative vibration, they can also kill you, which is no one has ever told the truth about who these people are. But yet still, they come in with such an healing energy. And this is why I've given tribute to that person who I knew on the 15th of December. Because if I had a pain somewhere, because I used to have... Um, um, terrible stomach pain you know at that time of the month and he will just put his hand on my stomach and I swear the pain was gone honestly so then I realized that he was now one of those special people so these people are extremely special you carry the sense of healing and if you're going to heal you can heal with your hands the energy vibration of you consists of healing energies now there's someone else who i know that was born on the 19th of december and oh my god it's just the total opposite of the one in 15 december so this is what i've always said when i give a reading for a sign and that sort of a thing i definitely say that um you have to be aware of what is happening to you because you can be of a positive nature or of a negative nature it depends on what you carry in your energy vibration and how who you are as a person because your heart says um, who you are as a person so I've always known and always know that there is a lot of people who were born under the same sign but it's like the darkness and the light okay and these two people are really the opposite the darkness and the light okay all right so here we are so the Aquarians as we look because I'm doing this one by one so um, as we look at the changing of the guards for you guys, uh, for the Aquarians, what has happened to you? Where are you? The Aquarians now, your birthday was from January 20th until February 18th. That was your uh, birthday for the Aquarians. But the big shift for you guys, and it's going to happen from next year, 2018, it is already happening we gave you time and this is now we are going to, and it's not we it's actually the earth the earth energy vibration and the planetary system are bringing these changes because you're coming out of the time of the Pisces in the time of your own energy vibration so you Aquarians will now be February 16 until March 11 
Okay, this is something for you. So, what is happening now? Let's look at this at a deeper perspective. So, who are the people that were born on January 20th? Where is you are now a Capricorn? <laughs> Okay, people, I'm sorry, I have to laugh because I was blown out of the water for myself. I was very, very upset <laughs> because, and this is going to make, and this is going to be, um, this is going to make a lot of people start to question themselves. And this is the whole idea of the Aquarian time is to let people start questioning themselves. Because here I am, born under the sign of this. I know I was a Caps person, so I get along with Caps people. And here I am, only to find out that who my sun sign was that I was born under is actually not my sun sign. So I had a conversation and thank God to a very good friend of mine, Frank, who we sat and had this conversation because he was also upset because he realized that he was no longer the sign that he was born on, the, but he was another sign. And he called me and he said, what is my birth sign? And he says, I said, what is your birthday? I said, you're so and so. And he said, no, I'm not. And I'm like, why? And then I said, no you are you were born and he says no and he sent me this thing and it was a change of guard for myself and he said you really need to get this message out because a lot of people need to know this and this is why i'm doing this video it is really 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 a change of guard so I know there is going to be a lot of people are going to call me up on this, but the information is out there. So you can always Google that shit, Google it, and you can see it for yourself. So for the Aquarians that was born on January 20th to February 17th, you are no longer an Aquarian, but you are a Capricorn. <laughs> So welcome you new Capricorns. Yeah, it's yeah, it was also for for myself. I I had I had such a powerful I was like, no way. I am so and so. No way. So, okay. So remember you Aquarians, if you were born on um, January 20th to February 18th, you are no longer an Aquarian, but you're now a Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're now a Capricorn. So, um, <laughs> yeah, and and this this is only for the people who were born on um, January twentieth to February sixteenth. You have become a Capricorn. So, in the rest of your life, you will for the people who are going to live to see twenty thirty two because this is when we this all these changes are happening for 2032 because 2032 you have to be vibrating with an higher vibration to be on this planet so whatever people are telling you at 2032 between now and 2032 is as if the universal angels the white brotherhood the um um the um the masters, the ascendance masters, and the Gadinas are working with each and every person on this planet. Yes, each and every person on this planet. It doesn't really matter where you are. They're working with you to help you through this transformation. You can either go right or you can either go left. Whatever way you go, you know, whatever. It's your time. It's your time. Okay, so... People like myself and light workers are here to educate the public as to what is going to happen and why certain things are happening. Okay, so um, Aquarians, now welcome to my beautiful sign of the Capricorns. I don't know if you can really vibrate under the energies of the Capricorn, and I should say this: this is for the only the people who were born the twentieth of January until the. The, the 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 16th okay the 20th of january until the 16th this is for the people who were born on the 20th of january until the 16th and here i'm seeing something that is happening because 
um, the people between the 17 and 18 I have uh, the 17 and 18 of January you have been fall off so obviously I think the the astrological people need um, to make a note of this that the people that was born on February 17 and 18 as fall off of this chart so you guys whoever is doing this need to uh, re update this data because um, there is missing link with the people who were born on the 17 and 18 of January so there is a missing link so um, I want to know what happened to you guys but anyway um, your you, what sign you have become so I'm, I'm, I'm going to look at that for you because you should have been Pisces then if you fall, fell off you would have been a Pisces okay but you're no you're not in this so this is kind of strange so okay we're moving on we're moving on so remember the people who were born on February 17 and 18 please remember that um, you know um, there, there. Whosoever did the thirteen sign, I'm calling out on if anyone out there work with the astrolog, um, whoever you are. I have uh, special people who I listen to for myself because I really do um, listen to other people. Um, and there, uh, I love certain people. Uh, you know. Okay, we're moving on. So for you Aquarians, you're vibrating in your own energy vibration time now for the rest until 2032. And it's not going to change in 2032. This is actually now is the changing of the guard. So between now and 2032, you have to understand that the sign you were born in is no longer the same sign. Okay. Alrighty, and who do we have after the Aquarians? We have the Pisces. So, you know, there is uh, something that the Universal Angels are trying to um, let you guys know because you need to understand that everything is connected. Um, this, the scientific and the, the scientific and the, the spiritual realm is protected. I wouldn't go to the churches because I think most churches. Uh, um, do not want to connect with the, the, the you know, maybe the scientific churches and that sort of a thing will connect with this, but not all churches. Okay, we're going to the Pisces, and I might have to do a break because um, I don't want this video to go over time. So we're going on to the Pisces, and who are the Pisces? The Pisces are the water people, okay? And they were born, they were born on um, February 19 until the 20th of March these are the five Pisces that was born on February 19 until the 12th of March so the Pisces are ruled with the uh, planet of Neptune and um, as we look at this uh, system and how this is developing this is um, really um, is it smart I don't know but I will see Okay, so the changing of the guards is saying that the Pisces are from March 11 on till April 18. So, obviously, what is happening here is changes are happening. So, as we go and look, you are actually now an Aquarius. So, the Pisces are now Aquarians. So, and... If we if we look at at, at this the changing of the guards, uh, um, the Pisces, and this is what I have to leave it in this video. The Pisces is now um, Aquarians because you are from the 16. But somehow I'm seeing here that the dates are not really correct with the sort of a thing because. Um, 16 of March and their show the 16 of March so what is happening here is that a couple dates of people are being fall out they are they going to um, dissipate what is going to happen to these people because it is uh, so strange okay we have come to um, part one of this video 
and I am going to um, continue but I'm going to um, revert this um, to go because I'm doing all the zodiac signs so um, we are going to realize um, that certain things certain changes need to be done so um, I want to say to you I will see you in the second half I will see you in the second half okay